heat energy. Here's our learning target. Define heat energy. Now this is a pretty simple one because all we're simply doing is coming up with the definition for heat energy. Here it is. Heat energy, a form of energy caused by the disorderly motion of molecules. Now heat energy is also known as thermal energy. It's important to understand that it's a form of energy and it's caused by the motion of molecules. Now sometimes we think of heat energy as just something being hot, but that is not it at all. Even an ice cube can contain heat energy. As a matter of a fact, everything that's made up of matter contains heat energy because everything is made of molecules. Now, some things contain more heat energy than others. Here's an example of our molecules. This is a picture of how the molecules are arranged in a solid. They're in nice neat rows, tightly packed, and barely vibrating. In liquids, they're not in nice neat rows anymore. They're still fairly close together, but they've moved a little bit, and they just sort of slip and slide past one another. And here is a picture of our molecules in a gas. Much further apart, they're moving rapidly. Now, if we take an ice cube, that's a solid object. Even though an ice cube is cold, it contains heat energy because those molecules, while they're not moving a lot, they are moving some. And remember, our definition says the disorderly motion of molecules. So since those molecules in an ice cube are moving a little bit, they have a little bit of heat energy. Now let's say that ice cube melts. We now have a liquid. It took heat energy for that solid to, to change into a liquid. So those molecules are moving faster. Okay? The more motion, the more heat. If that water now evaporates, we then have our gas. The heat energy causing it to evaporate speeds up those gas molecules, and there's even more heat energy. The faster the molecules move, the more heat energy there is.